I don't like the word impossible. I really don't believe it. I look at uh, a young fella and I think I can do that. They call me a stuntman now, I suppose I am. After losing my wife, which was a terrific blow, and I had a slight mini stroke. I thought, well, it's a challenge here. I could either give away, go and play bowls, play bingo. That's not for me. You have to take the bull by the horns, just get on with things. I have to be really positive about it and think, no, I'm going to do something, something different. It's going to excite me and help other people. Since then, I've got 13 Guinness World Records. I haven't had any OBE or CBE. It doesn't worry me one little bit. The fact that I've raised money, that's my reward. I always, always think of my wife. I just feel like she's saying to me, rise about the rest. she would be really over the moon. I really do feel good. I'm not just doing it for my own pleasure. Somebody's benefiting from what I'm doing. wonderful kick out of it. I'm still living, you know, to the full. I'm just going to carry on doing it till the end. Would I leave a gift to charity in my will? I certainly would. It's nice to know that something's going to happen good afterwards. I am lucky, I know that. You do what you can with your own body and your mind. There is a legend in all of us. You're only as old as you feel. If you think old, you'll be old. Well, the worst thing you could do is just sit and do nothing and watch the telly all day. I've been diving as long as I can remember. When you get on that board and you're flying through the air, it feels good. I'd done three off the top and I walked to the bottom of the steps and my head was spinning. And after that, I don't really know. Apparently, I just went out. My heart apparently was stopped for four minutes. So if it wasn't for the air ambulance, I'm pretty sure I wouldn't be here now. When it was my 80th birthday last year, I had a big party and I said, I don't want any presents, but I would like voluntary donations for the air ambulance. I think I made over 600 pounds. Because of my cardiac arrest, they implanted a, an implanted cardioverter defibrillator. And it's important to get a good clean entry when I dive because of the shock on that. Well, as long as I'm fit, yeah, I'll do it. I think I'll know when I'm not up to it. If you've got the money, yes, I think you should definitely have it tied up. What's going to happen to it? I love being my age. I don't seem to need that much sleep. I've got loads of energy. I'm enjoying life. I was probably about 50 when I decided to start running. My husband died when I was 52. I was a member of a very small running club and they were just the best support you could imagine. I'm most proud of finishing the Lanzarote Ironman at the age of 71 and feeling that I might be an example to other women. 
Oh, there's nothing like crossing a finishing line and thinking there's a glass of wine the other side. <laughs> I think it's vital to leave a legacy, whether it's a sort of interest in sport or whether it's financial to equip other charities to do that work.